Hello RVers and fellow summertime warriors. Uh, we're not just weekend warriors. We like to take the summer and go north or go west. Usually we like to make long trips. We have a 40 foot RV. We're towing a 15 foot uh, Honda Civic behind the RV. And we've been around the country several times in this thing. So we wanted to put this video together to help you with some of the things that we are concerned about when we are planning a trip like this. This particular trip carried us from North Alabama to the northern parts of Canada and back. Uh, so one of the things that we always stress over when we're planning a trip like this is the ease of access to the campground itself. How far is it from the interstate? How wide are the roads? How high are the tree limbs off of the road? Uh, how easy is it to get? How many turns are there? How easy is it to get to the campground? Then once we're there at the campground, we have reviewed in this video our opinion of cleanliness, uh, amenities, how friendly were the staff or not. Uh, we, we did on this trip, we had some electrical issues. One of the campgrounds had a uh, open neutral and we're a 50 amp power, so it blew up our transfer switch, so we had to get that replaced. Um, we also had some very unlevel sites, which is not too bad. We can deal with that, but obviously you want to be level for the refrigerator and just simply for the plumbing and uh, using the restroom and getting up out of the bed at night or whatever you have to do. It's nice to be level, but some of these uh, campsites had very unlevel, either left to right or front to back campsites. So we wanted to give you a heads up on that. So we do a little bit different than we've seen a lot of other videos and RV full-timers and weekend warriors. When you're taking your big trips, you just pull off at a Walmart or a Cracker Barrel or a Cabela's, and we have done that many times, and we will continue to do that. But in this particular case, we had some friends traveling with us. They were pulling their fifth wheel. Uh, they don't have a generator, so there was a lot, a lot of logistics uh, reasons why we decided to stay in a campground every night so that we could have full hookups with sewer and power and water. Uh, I don't think we spent a single night just boondocking uh, like we would have if we were alone. So with that in mind, take a look at the entry to each of our campgrounds and then a little bit of what we did while we were at each of our points of interest. The points of interest were Gettysburg, for the historical reasons, but we also set up base camp there in Gettysburg to go to uh, Washington, D.C., to Hershey, to Lancaster, to Harrisburg, and just all the sites. So we set up base camp and then drove our little toad around. And then the second point of interest from Gettysburg would have been New York City. The third one was Plymouth, Massachusetts. The fourth was several different points in Maine. There wasn't a single point that was just one base camp. So we stopped in Saco and Old Orchard Beach. And then we went up to the Bangor area with the intention of going down to Bar Harbor. But we decided to go on into Canada and catch Bar Harbor on our way back. And with that said, on our way back, we only had the one point of interest, uh, which was Bar Harbor. And we only spent two nights there to see Bar Harbor. There was a lot more to see. We wish we would have stayed longer in Bar Harbor, but we can always go back. The point being is on our way back, and you'll see at the very tail end of this, when we were on our way back, we only stopped for one night at each stop. And we were 29 hours under the steering wheel. So um, it's not as comfortable for me and Norma and for our friends to drive eight or nine or ten hour days like I used to when I was younger. Um, it is a little uncomfortable, so we try not to drive more than four hours, but due to the fact that we like to have a full hookup campground, sometimes we do go five or maybe even five and a half hours drive time under the steering wheel. We do take several breaks every two hours or so. We'll take a break, stretch our legs, maybe grab a cup of coffee or whatever. But getting under the steering wheel, driving all day, setting up camp, 
just trying to relax for a few hours, knowing that the very next day you got to get up and do all this over again and again and again and again and again. One thing we've changed going forward, we will be building more points of interest and base camps in our return trip in the future. Um, so hopefully this will help you in these particular campsites see how to get there, how close they are to the interstate, how much they cost, and the amenities. So we hope you enjoy the video. If you do, give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed, and we'll catch you next time. When we start planning a trip, we usually have an end uh, destination in mind. In this summer's case, we decided we wanted to go up into Nova Scotia and Prince Edward Island and uh, New Brunswick. So from there, we go and we look on the map and find the closest route that we can find. And from there, we start finding destinations in between our beginning route and our ending route. We try to start planning a year in advance. That way we can start saving our money, putting it up. Um, we go from, try to go for anywhere from three to five weeks. This summer was about five weeks, um, which was the longest trip that we had gone. But there were so many things in between here in Canada destination that we wanted to see that it was hard not to stretch it out to five weeks. I'm usually the planner. Uh, this year we had friends go with us, followed us up there, and we've had the we've done that twice now. We. Um, we enjoy having the company go with us. It's just nice having somebody with you on the road. If something happens, you've got somebody there to help you out or stay with you at the motor home while somebody goes for help or whatever. Uh, this year we went to so many different places and we really didn't have enough time to spend in the places that we went because there were so many wonderful things to see in all the different places. Um, when we do our sightseeing, we usually go on Google. I try to find the top 10 uh, things in each state that we're going to, and then I go from there. Uh, a lot of the things we had already been to in other trips but the couple that we were with had not gone on those uh, trips with us before. So there was a lot of things that they had not seen that they wanted to see this time. And we were kind of glad to see them again. We enjoyed them. Um, the main thing I wanted to see was the Statue of Liberty. Wayne is not big at driving in large cities. We're from the country, so um, we don't like driving in that traffic. So for the Washington DC tour and the New York tour, uh, we actually did a tour. We get, got on a tour bus and rode into the city and spent the whole day there. Um, I think that's the best thing to do. You don't have to worry about finding parking. Uh, the buses, somehow they can always find parking. So that worked out really well for us. Um, some of my favorite things, of course, the Statue of Liberty was the number one. I had always wanted to go see that. We've traveled all 50 states, but we had not got to see the Statue of Liberty, and that was really the last thing on my bucket list of things that I wanted to see. So now I've got to start a new bucket list and figure out where and what we want to do. Um, Usually I check us in, like I said, when we go in, and um, most campgrounds, the people are very nice. They're very friendly and very helpful. Um, occasionally you'll find some. There, it's not that they're not nice. It's just they're kind of standoffish. They've been checking in people all day, and they're tired. And uh, But for the most part, we've always had good campgrounds, good places to stay, and we felt safe. 
Um, you know, they vary anywhere from three and a half to five stars. And uh, some of the ones you would think would be five stars sometimes aren't. So you have to, we do a lot of searching on different things to find out how many stars they are before we go, what the um, complaints were, if they had ones and twos or whatever. And some of them, you know, were not um, that bad of a, a issue. Um, some of the things that we got to go to this year, the weather was absolutely beautiful. Some of them, there was fog and rain and we really didn't get to see what we wanted to. Uh, I would love to go back to Maine someday and get to go up to Cadillac Mountain. That was one of my want to sees really bad because uh, I wanted to see the sunrise or either the sunset from up there. And the day we went, it was rainy and foggy. You couldn't hardly see in front of your face. It was so bad up there. We've really enjoyed traveling in our RV all these years. It's been a lot of fun. We hope to get to do this for many years to come. I don't know that we'll ever be full-time RVers. I still like having a home base close to where the kids are. But uh, I think the month at a time during the summer will be uh, probably our traveling time. And then there are a few weeks during the year, too, that we travel. But uh, I think the month in the summertime is a good length of time for us instead of the full timers.